guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be testing out the Lush Caca Rouge hair dye. But before we get into the video, I just want to say hello to anyone who is new or who is not already subscribed to my channel. My name is Courtney and if you like this video or if you like any of my videos, I would so greatly appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button down below. So now getting on into the video. If you don't know what Lush Caca Rouge is, which I didn't a few weeks ago, I will show you what it is right now. It is basically henna. I actually had it in my car for a while, so it's kind of like a little melted like this, but it's just a big block of henna and it's an all natural hair dye. But rather than going into the cuticles of your hair um, and damaging it, it actually surrounds the outside of the hair, which since this is red, I'm really excited to try because red is the hardest color to maintain because it's the biggest molecule so it doesn't really fit into the strands of hair. That's why it like sticks so much to the top but not so much to the bottom. And you can buy henna hair dye online, a lot of different places, a lot of different types. But this one from Lush, I was really excited to try because it has um, cocoa butter in it and it's like basically a hair treatment so you leave it on your hair for about three hours plus like after three hours it pretty much stops developing but it's like a hair treatment so it's really good for your hair so the longer you leave it on the better your hair will feel which I'm just really excited to try and let you guys know how I feel about it because my hair is like dry it's not like damaged horribly but it is dry and most of my color is on the roots and the bottom is like a coppery brown. So I have all natural lighting right now just so I can show you the best like results possible through the camera. This is going to take a long time so I'm really excited to share this whole experience with you guys and if you have any questions at the end please feel free to ask me down below. So yeah just keep watching this video to see how I dye my hair with henna. So before we get into it, I just want to show you what it actually looks like. It's basically just this block of, uh, looks like a big block of chocolate, honestly. And it doesn't smell nearly as bad as I expected it to. There's a fly. It, it smells like essential oils and cocoa butter to me. I thought it would smell bad, but it doesn't smell bad at all, so that's a plus. This comes with... I swear, I had this in the car so it's like all gross. Look at that. Ew! But it has instructions on the inside. Um, so I will just go and start doing the process and take you along with me instead of just reading you the directions. What you're going to need is a bunch of garbage bags to lay on the floor because apparently this gets really, really messy. And obviously I'm going to change out of my cute shirt and put on an ugly one. You're going to need a pair of gloves. And I just got a turban to put on top of my head because it's going to be in there for a long time. Um, so I just got something comfy to wear. You are going to need saran wrap to trap the heat in your hair. But again, we'll go over this as the video is going on. So I just started by breaking apart four of the blocks and then I started to grate them like cheese just so that it was like super fine so when I put the water in that it didn't have any clumps which this is also what my friend who worked at Lush recommended me doing. So then I took a boiling pot of water and I just started to mix the dye together until it had a brownie batter consistency or like melted chocolate. And I had this little hair whisk or hair dye whisk that I got at Sally's that I just used to mix up the hair dye or the henna and I found it really helpful to do the mixing. Then I took Aquaphor and I just placed it all around my ears and on my neck and on my forehead just so that I could create a barrier between the henna and my skin. So the consistency that I used and the grating of the henna actually really made it easy to work with where I've seen a lot of videos of people saying that henna is super hard to work with but I find found it pretty easy. I did it just as if I was doing regular hair dye, so I started at the roots and just painted my way down the strands of hair. And because you want to make sure that you get every single piece of hair, because it is really thick and you might miss a chunk of hair if you aren't careful, so just flip over every piece and 
yeah, just work your way all the way around your head. It's basically like mud. Apparently, caca is meaning poop. So, yes, it looks like poop. But it doesn't smell like poop. And ignore that my room looks like poop because I was packing for a vacation. This whole process took about 20 minutes. I was actually surprised that it didn't take that long. And I just massaged it all into the ends of my hair. And then I just wrapped the hair in saran wrap. I am back and I have my turban on and my head is sweating. Um, I, it feels really weird, just like really hot, obviously because of the saran wrap. But I'm gonna keep it in this for about four hours. It is now about four o'clock, so I'll wash it out around eight, nine. And I'm just gonna come back to tomorrow when it's air dried overnight, and I will tell you all about how it was to wash it out and everything. I'm really hot. <laughs> um, it was really messy, I'm not gonna lie. It was like, it got all over my legs, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I did hop in the shower and get some of it off my body, but it came off super easily. Um, I found that using four blocks instead of the six, it was perfect amount for my hair. And I have pretty thick hair, so, and you saw I flip my hair over every single time. Um, I used a lot of it, so I think it was a perfect amount. If you have any longer hair, I would use the whole block. I'm going to save the other two pieces for if I have roots soon. This is semi-permanent, but it lasts about three months, whereas um, other like chemical hair dyes, they really don't last that long even if you get permanent in regards to red hair because it doesn't um, fit into your hair molecules as easily as other hair dyes do. And I am super excited to see the results and I hope you are too. And I just think it's a really cool idea to use something natural that's actually better for your hair and lasts longer than using conventional hair dye. So if this actually works, I'm gonna be super, super happy and I will probably use it for a long time. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling and I will see you guys tomorrow, as in right now. Okay, so it is the next day and I am in the same lighting as before. I'm even in the same dress as before just so that we can get the full look of the color. So in this lighting, it's looking more orange, but I just wanna say first, I love this product. I don't think I'm gonna do chemical dyes for a long, long time. I think I'm gonna stick to using this henna because my hair feels so good. It's shiny. It feels so much thicker because it coats the outside of your hair strands instead of like affecting it chemically. And it just feels so good. It looks natural. The only thing I have to say was that it was really, really, really hard to get out of my hair. Like, it definitely dries in your hair, so you have like little pieces of dirt essentially all in your hair. So you have to like take each strand and wash it a bunch of times. My hands felt like they got nice exfoliating treatment in the shower. I was in there for about 20 minutes just trying to get all of it out. I shampooed my hair literally five times. <laughs> But I got it all out, it feels so good, and it's so worth the effort that you have to put in. Just because it's healthy for your hair, you get a beautiful color, and there's just, there's cocoa butter, there's cloves in it for hair growth. There's all sorts of amazing benefits to using henna on your hair. And I'm just so excited that it came out good. But the best part about this is my bottom pieces of hair completely match the top of my hair, which is almost impossible for anyone to do with chemical dye with red who has had their hair bleached before. Um, the roots always hold more, but because this isn't chemically altering your hair, it coats the strands. It just, I'm speechless, honestly. I, <laughs> I just love the way it looks. As it was drying last night, I was like, it doesn't look much different, but I can totally tell right now um, and once it was dry how different it looks and how soft it feels. So if you are interested in henna I will leave a bunch of information on it down below as well as where you can buy it. I got it at Lush. Um, I went to one Lush and it was sold out of this specific color. They have it in 
Kaka Brune, which is brown, and Kaka Noir, which is black. And I think they have like a darker red color, um, but I'm not positive. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend using henna or trying it out and seeing how you like it. Um, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I post every week about fashion, beauty, all natural health, beauty things. All sorts of videos that I think you guys would enjoy. So stick around, join the family, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!